Good morning, everyone. It is Monday again. It is another week, another week. I'm making my lunch for the day and then I'm gonna be heading into rehearsals for The Merry Wives, um, which I'm very excited about. So it's the second week of rehearsals. We've only got two weeks of rehearsals, so Monday next week is when we have our first performance of it. I uh, was very excited. Yeah, I'm pumped, absolutely pumped. The music is great, the script is a lot of fun, the characters are really cool. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned this guy, but it's a, maybe I have mentioned this, it's an all-female cast, which means that the male characters are played by women. So I'm playing a male character called Fenton. Have you guys seen... I feel like I'm repeating myself from last week. If I am, I'm really sorry. I've got the worst movie in the world. Um, anyway, I'm playing a character called Fenton, which is a lot of fun. I have played a male character once before in my life. It was at uni. It was many, many, many years ago. <laughs> and it was like a really exaggerated, over-the-top comedic character. I haven't used this cheese before. I feel like it's going to be really good. Mmm! Mozzarella. Oh my god, it's so nice. And yeah, it was a really comedic over-the-top character. But this character that I'm playing, this show, Fenton, is not over-the-top. He's very genuine, a bit intense, but very genuine, kind of almost based in more in reality than over-the-top character. And I'm finding it difficult to find the masculine, the male physicality in this character because it's it's not something I've ever done in a genuine way before. So <laughs> yesterday on Sunday, on my day off, I was spending a lot of time like trying to figure out how to do that. So that was good fun. So I'm excited to go into rehearsals today, trial it out a little bit more, experiment with it a bit more. It's gonna be good fun. So that is our day. It's a really miserable grey um, day out there today, but. So it's going to be lots of fun. By the way, for anyone wanting to know what I'm bringing for lunch today, I feel like that doesn't look that impressive, but it's so yummy. <laughs> um, it is something me and my partner call chili con corny. So it's like chili con carne, but the vegetarian version and with corn, like a, a meat substitute. Um, I put it in a wrap and it's so, so yummy and so good. And my amazing fiance actually made this mixture for me yesterday. I don't know why I've done with the angle. Um, I'm just going to squat. <laughs> My uh, baby fiance actually made the mixture for me yesterday, so I would have a full week of meal prep done. He's amazing. He's amazing. All right, that's it. See you later. Good morning. Welcome <laughs> to Monday morning with the Merry Wives. We're not going to go too close to Laura's face just yet because she's not ready. I'm not a we'll Merry Wife. We'll come back. <laughs> she's a tired wife. <laughs> morning. How's everyone feeling? I can't. You feeling inside. good? I want to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> feeling good, my love? Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Ooh. Looking fabulous. Where is she going? <laughs> Guys, I've just gotten home from the day and my veil has arrived for my wedding. <laughs> in case anyone doesn't know, I'm getting married in just in three months. Um, I ordered this veil off of Etsy and it's arrived, but Aiden's here, so I can't like pull it out and compare it on my dress and like see if the length is right. Um, but I'm very excited. It looks very soft. It looks very nice. Yes. It's starting to feel really real, guys. afternoon yeah cool. she's still in the blog she's still in the blog <laughs> <laughs> It is 
Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm on my way into rehearsal school today and we've got another change in venue. <laughs> Never in my life have I done rehearsals for a show that has changed rehearsal venues so many times. So I have no idea where I'm going today. We can figure it out. And guys, it's a bit grey outside, but I've, de I've decided to leave the house without a jacket. I know as an Australian that's probably a really bad idea because I get cold so easily. But hopefully, okay, it's chilly, but I think I'm not going to be outside for long, so hopefully it's going to be okay. So yesterday was just such a funny day in rehearsal. Laura, one of our actors, has brought in a melodica that she's going to play during the show and like a little xylophone-y thing and what's it. It's, <laughs> it's kind of turning like quite pantomime-y with the, the comedy and the exaggeration in the show, which I think is going to be really fun. Like, if you think about it, I think Shakespeare comedies are kind of pantomime anyway. Well, lends itself to that. So anyway, so that's the direction the show is going now, which is just so funny. I swear we spend most of rehearsal just crying with laughter at what's going on, which is great. <laughs> but yesterday I was actually quite stressed with some stuff going on with my muggle job, like my non-performing job. I look after a section of a company that does children's parties. So like where the entertainers dress up as different princesses, fairies, pirates, whatever, um, and go to kids' birthday parties. So I manage the entertainers, do the bookings, all that kind of stuff. And I've had so many entertainers pull out for the parties this weekend, so I was so stressed trying to find cover. It's all sorted now, but yesterday I just had a bit of a breakdown to Aiden. Um, and so when I came home from rehearsal, he bought me the most beautiful rainbow tulips, like he bought some flowers for me, just to make me feel better, and I thought it was so, so sweet. Oh, and tonight, so after rehearsals are finished today, I've actually got a Zoom meeting with the cast of the next show that I'm doing that starts rehearsals next week. Ah, um, there's so much going on. But yes, yeah, so I've got a Zoom meeting tonight with that cast. We're going to do a, a table read of the script um, because they actually start rehearsals tomorrow, but I obviously can't join them because I'm doing The Merry Wives. So it's a bit of a crossover so that very very kindly doing a zoom meeting tonight so i can get involved from the beginning and then i'll join them on tuesday next week so it's gonna be a busy day i'm out of breath just talking about it right let's go <laughs> the zoom read for the play that started next week just pop the script away um, i'm really excited the cast is a really really lovely bunch it's gonna be lots of fun there's a lot of lines to learn though it's a shorter show than the merry wives musical that i'm doing it's really wordy really really wordy so i'm gonna have to get learning that over the weekend to be ready for rehearsals next week um, but it was a good it was a good zoom session really really good I'm now exhausted, like beforehand I was feeling really energised, but now I think that was like the last of my energy that I had left today, so <laughs> I'm going to get ready for bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, it is th Thursday, it's Thursday. I'm heading into rehearsal for another day of work on The Merry Wives and today is a full music court which I'm so excited about and we're meeting the band, the band are coming in I think in the afternoon and we're doing a sits probe, so the sits probe is where the cast sing with the orchestra of the band for the first time. All the different elements of the music come together for the first time. And this is always my favorite part of a musical. I'm so flippin' pumped to hear these songs like in the full rock tunes that they are. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Also, on a completely unrelated note, I bought a new foundation. I'm trialing, trialing out some different foundations for my wedding. What do you think? Like I've been looking for a more full coverage Ooh, kind of vibes so hard to see with this changing light i think i like it but i don't know if it's a little bit too matte i don't know if i want a bit more of like a bridal glow does that sound really silly we're trialing it out see how it goes see how it lasts today oh and i want to see if today i can do a bit of a meet the cast get you guys to actually meet everyone in all their fabulousness so see how i go with that as well I'll keep you posted action Hi, I'm Dev. I play Anne. I am half Indian, half American. And my favorite food is the black pepper on these sticks. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. What is it's that? It's a specific type of pepper on stick. It's a corner shop. Oh my god, it'll change. Well, you won't have it because it's 
It's me, it's isn't it? Yeah, That's why I don't know me. what it is. Yeah. I'll be excited That's for it. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Tegan. I'm from Croydon. And, <laughs> <laughs> and my favourite food is pho. Noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is all. Why am I looking at things? We can make it. Up. It's not a swear word. It's not a swear word. P-H-O. Like pho. Like it's, it's pronounced pho. pho. <laughs> I think you will I think you're fine. Hello. Uh, I'm Laura, I uh, play Miss Quickly. I ironed my shirt for you today. Um, my, I'm from Farnham and my favourite food, um, depends how much I've had to drink, but probably Domino's pizza. Oh, yeah. It's a bit like a dip for... Always. Yeah. <laughs> Going, huh? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I'm Tamsin, I'm playing Mr Ford. Um, and I'm from Devon, and my favourite food is garlic bread. My name is Charlotte, I'm playing Mrs Page. I am from Huddersfield, and I couldn't possibly pick a favourite food. I'm getting stressed thinking about how to think of favourite food, so I'm going to skip that question. I'm Alex, and I'm from Birmingham, and I'm playing, who am I playing? Mrs Ford. Um, my favourite food is... I don't know. It's stressful. It is really I'm stressful. Literally, my heart's going. I feel like <laughs> whenever people talk about food, I'm just like, I'm diabetic, so whether I have one or <laughs> any food that I can have at any point that doesn't oh kill me. <laughs> Hello, I am Kirith. I am from Reading, and I am playing Prince Vaughn, Vaughn the man with three with three A's. Um, and my okay, so my favourite go-to food, particularly like after drink, is cheesy chips. And if I'm lucky, with gravy. Oh, oh yeah. Bye. Bye. I'm ready for my clothes up. Hi, I'm Jess. Um, I'm from Hampshire, and I play full staff. Um, or full staff. <laughs> um, my favourite food is anything with cheese on it. Oh, me too. Delish. Preferably melted mm. with some garlic and some bread. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, it's the end of the evening. I've got my steamer here because my voice is starting to get a bit tired. Oh my goodness. We had an amazing sits probe in rehearsals today. And then um, me and Aiden, my partner, we went to, that's really annoying me. <laughs> we went to a wedding fair that we booked for me to sing at because um, we're trying to get me more bookings as a wedding singer. Um, so that was really fun. I'll put in a little clip of what was going on now. tonight at three o'clock tomorrow morning Aiden is being picked up by his mates and they're taking him to the airport he doesn't know where he's going and they're taking him on his stag trip he's going on his stag do I can't believe like all these wedding things are, are officially happening um it's very very exciting he's so excited and I'm also glad this stag do is happening like three months before the wedding because I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be wild they're gonna need some recovery time so that's happening in the middle of the night so I'll wake up very briefly to say goodbye to him. But then he's going to be gone for the next three days. So that's the updates for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Not at three o'clock in the morning. I won't vlog then. I'll see you later in the day. Okay, bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I picked up at three o'clock this morning. I've seen a photo of him on someone else's Instagram stories in like a blonde wig and a dress at the airport. <laughs> and I know he's on his way to Malaga in Spain. So... That's great, sent him off. I'm just arriving at a new rehearsal space for today. Again, I think this is rehearsal space number four of this two week rehearsal period. I've never changed rehearsal spaces this many times for one show. Um, so it's keeping it interesting. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm early, so I'm gonna find a cafe to do a bit of a bit of work from, and then I'll head into rehearsal. Yay! Everyone. I've just finished work for the evening. So rehearsals was really great today. And then I drove to a place called Tunbridge Wells, um, which is south of London, not in London, like down, I think. My geography is really bad. And I've just sung at a wedding, which was lovely. I, because it's getting so close to our wedding, I'm getting so emotional, like watching other people at their weddings and imagining ours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I nearly lost it when I was singing Love Story by Taylor Swift and the bride and groom were just like holding each other and everyone was like pointing at them and singing at them. It was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And so yeah, that was really fun. I had a bit of like stressful stuff going on with my muggle job, the party coordinator for children's parties role. Another person, another entertainer pulled out for tomorrow with like mm, 18 hours notice and I couldn't find anyone, but I found someone to cover. Thank goodness, oh my gosh. And so it was quite stressful there for a bit, but I've, let me show you, we're in our little room, me and the band. Well, the band's not here, but I'm here. I had some wedding cake and it's very good, very good. So good that I ate too much and I was feeling a bit sick when I was on stage singing for that last bit. But anyway, it was great. Yeah, it was good fun, good fun. So there's about two pairs of shoes that I always wear for these kind of gigs. Um, just because they get beaten up and you know you don't want to wear nice shoes, but you need heels that look nice for seeing at weddings and things. And I've just been looking at the bottom and look at the heel. Can you see like Yeah, look at that. That like I just party and like dance and stamp my feet, and there's a lot of times where I'll like stamp my feet really hard to give everyone the tempo if I'm leading the intro into a verse or something like that. And I've always thought that I stamp it a bit too aggressively. <laughs> but now I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've killed this shoe. I don't know if that helps focus. I've killed it. How bad is that? But I'm gonna keep wearing it because if I buy a new pair, I'll just do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Saturday morning. I'm running late for rehearsals, which I hate. I am not a late person. This is making me very angry, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, I just had an absolute nightmare. Uh, I drove into person today in the center of London. Someone remind me to never, ever, ever, ever do that again, please. Oh my gosh, driving in the city of London is insane. <laughs> and you have to pay extra money for the privilege as well, which is crazy. Anyway, I was bringing in some like, uh, a PA system and keyboard for the rehearsals today. So I had to find the load in behind uh, the rehearsal venue, which is a new venue again. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a nightmare, but I'm nearly there now. Yay. again Woo! it is saturday night we are at a pub called the anchor and we are actually we're hiding in the car because we're actually a surprise for tonight Ooh, so we've been yeah. booked we're really excited i'm really excited <laughs> oh yeah uh, we've been booked for an 18th birthday party for a girl that has been a massive fan of the dynamos since the beginning of her yeah party, yeah long time lover yeah mm -hmm. so we're so excited to go in there and and sing for her and her friends which will be really really fun Yay! yeah really fun we did have to like just hang out in a mcdonald's for about an hour and a half yeah so that we were away Classy. from the venue while she was coming in and they wouldn't see us um we got changed in the mcdonald's yeah. dressing room uh dressing room <laughs> It was a dressing room. It was not that it glamorous. Was... <laughs> we shared the disabled toilet and got you. Oh, that's so funny. And then, I mean, how did you guys feel walking through McDonald's? You know, I felt like out. a rock star. Yeah. So I did. Like, all eyes on us. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, I was like, yeah, you wish you were us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Because I honestly, everyone was looking. I was like, yeah, we're really important. <laughs> Getting changed at McDonald's, that's what all the famous people do. Exactly. <laughs> Just looking, my hair looks really... Oh, mine's oh no, is it going to come out? Messy. So. No, I, I mean... Don't jinx it. I don't think so. But it's just so naughty. Have you guys got anything else to say in the vlog? No, if you're ever wanting a Dynamo's performance, book us, you know? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go do a gig. Bye! Hey guys, so oh, that's my laundry drying. <laughs> um, so it's the next day. Last night's gig went so, so well. Um, yeah, the surprise worked really well. The girls did amazing. Everyone was up dancing, singing. It was a lovely time. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, and then in the next vlog, you will see us actually performing The Merry Wives, the musical we've been rehearsing for, which I'm so excited about. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.